Auto Line on the Road from Motorbella 2021 is brought to you by Tajin Automotive Technologies. Together, we have chemistry. You know, I don't know anything about computer programming. I know even less about artificial intelligence. But Kevin Kerwin here, the CEO of a startup called Detect It, tells me he can turn anybody into a programmer in artificial intelligence in certain areas though, right Kevin? Not really, it can cover a lot of different markets, but the market I'm aiming at right now is automotive and industrial manufacturing. I wanted to take AI out of the sky and bring it down to the concrete here where people can use it to help them in everyday life run production. Anything from quality control to error proofing systems to sound, if you could predictively know that that bearing is starting to make noise inside of it. Um, our software detected Net Builder Suite allows anybody to basically go through the four steps of making it an artificially intelligent neural network to watch or listen and detect anything you really want in video or sound. You got some props here, what are these all about? So we have, uh, everyone talks about an IoT 4.0 uh, edge devices, right? We have to have an edge device, and they're usually always talking about it in regards to data collection, um, but this is an edge device that runs neural networks, and you would plug your IP camera in here or your USB camera in here, and this would be on the line, your monitor would be right there, and it would be running the neural net that you created on the server up in engineering and deployed down to the edge device. So, Okay, one question then, how, how do you simplify AI that anybody can use it? Right now, AI is all in the coder realm, right? You really have to be a coder to know how to build it, and there's very few coders that actually know AI as well. And in order to bring the power of AI down to the ground floor, I had to make a software tool, an engineering tool, that anybody can use without having to understand AI or code. I take a video, I got a thousand frames, I draw a box around whatever it is in the first frame on the video, I give it a name, and I say apply that to every frame in the video, so it'll go find that object or that item or defect or thing, and then train a net to find that. Once you find it, once your net detects, you, you, once your net detects uh, what you have taught it, you can fire real world I.O. This is a simple ethernet, PoE, wireless uh, uh, I.O. module that you can fire lights, horns, alarms. We talk to all the PLCs, we talk to anything that's in the software realm, texts, videos, and we can also record the whole event that happened around the detection for you to actually confirm or see it. Okay, I gotta ask you about this drill. What's this yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, let me take a sip of water real quick. And yeah. I'll... <laughs> so one thing that really is revolutionary about AI, this is a big thing. People don't do their jobs right because they don't get the right training sometimes, right? And then, and, and so, if I take a boroscope camera and I stick it on a drill or a tool, the tool now knows what it is, where it is and what it's doing. So if I go to assemble something in the wrong order, the camera knows I'm not on the right bolt and won't allow me to assemble the part incorrectly. There was no way in the old world to easily know where the tool was in 3D space and if it was on the right bolt or if the operator was on the right step. So you're using AI to poke a yoke at it, yes. state proof it. I, I have 100% electronic work instructions that you cannot go out of order and it steps you right through the sequence of what you're supposed to do at that station. I've written a lot of machines and, and every machine knows what it's supposed to do. It just doesn't have any way to tell people other than a prompt and it has no way to know the person actually did a lot of the manual steps. So in manual operations, we have a way to ensure people don't make mistakes, they don't need a lot of training, just go up to the station, it will walk you through the process. You don't make quality errors, you don't have to repair things offline or inline. 
you don't allow the mistakes to happen. Kevin, I love what you're talking about here, of bringing AI down to the shop floor that anybody yep. can use. Yep. I see a million applications yeah. for this. It's, it's everything you would have ever done in the old world with machine vision, but it's simple. I don't need to know a million different software tools from this company or that company. I don't need an expert in machine vision. I need John. John can use this at home to spot geese and turn the sprinkler on on his lake. John can use this to learn his car and only turn on the certain lights at night that, that you want when you pull up. It can go across multiple markets, it go, not just automotive, goes all the way up to consumer, goes into wastewater, goes into agriculture, goes into military, goes into healthcare, where, you know, an analyzing images. I am concentrating for the next couple of years on industrial space because that's my background. That's the place I want to help the people the most and I'll come out of this world and go into the next once I dominate the industrial market. Kevin, thanks so much, man. Really John, interesting. I'd love to talk to you. Yeah. Please come back. I'll come back. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the interview. <laughs> With global reach across three continents, Tajin Automotive Technologies make vehicles lighter, safer, and more eco-friendly. Tajin Automotive Technologies, the formula for better mobility.